All of the work done is for bridge strengthening. It is to allow big cables to be put into the bridge to take the extra weight. These big beams that we are installing at, at um, present will be anchors for post-tensioning um, strands and tendon, which will be physically stressed in the bridge and that'll give the bridge the physical strength to take the additional load to be put onto it in the near future. There's 20 meters between the water level and um, the bottom of the bridge. We need to get 150 kilograms worth of steel plate to the outside of the um, box girders. We place a boom lift, uh, JLG in this case, um, place a boom lift on top of the barge We've got all the plates that need to be installed on the barge, so all of them are scattered along the, the deck. Uh, we tie on the anchor beam end plate. We communicate with the guys to the inside of the bridge and they then start the winching process. The plate gets winched up all the way from the deck, from the barge, and probably gets to about 95% of, of the way up. And then the bars are stuck out from the inside of the bridge to physically catch the plate on one of the holes so we can physically pivot it so we can get it into position which is parallel to the deck of the bridge. There's four reed bars or two reed bars that goes into the plates and through the holes on the end plates both on the inside as well as on the outside and they are tightened with um, the reed bar nuts. As soon as it's secure we start putting in the bolts. It's 28 bolts on each end plate all the bolts are hand tightened for the anchor plate physically to sit up in position on the bridge. This is just one step in getting to the post tensioning stage which will happen as soon as we've got all the anchor beams up on the bridge, um, which will be an interesting feat in its, in its own when we get there.